Welcome to our demonstration of EFT and acupressure tapping. The technique that you're about to learn is the cornerstone of the No IBS program. It's very powerful, yet it's easy to learn. And we hope you come to love it as much as we do. Throughout the No IBS program, we provide you with many tapping scripts. So I'm going to show you what that means and what to do. The first part of every tapping script is called the setup statement. In the setup statement, you name the problem or the issue that you're going to work on and you link that with an affirmation. Now anytime that you focus on an issue or a problem, it's possible that the stress associated with that will disrupt the meridian energy system of your body. This is called psychological reversal. And if it happens, the rest of the tapping technique won't be very effective. So in order to prevent that, we start tapping right away on an acupressure point as we say our setup statement. The point that we use is called the karate chop point, and it's right here on the fleshy part of the side of your hand where you would deliver a karate chop. So you tap there continuously while you say your setup statement three times, and it doesn't matter which hand you use. The standard setup statement sounds like this. Even though I have this issue, I deeply and completely accept myself. So you tap continuously and say that three times. When you're finished saying your setup statement, then you're gonna tap through a sequence of acupressure points on the head and on the body. At each point, you're gonna say a reminder phrase that keeps you focused on the issue. The reminder phrase is a shortened version of the setup statement. So this issue, this issue. By stating the issue out loud, you're engaging the mind. And by tapping on the acupressure point, you're engaging the body. And EFT is well known as an effective mind-body technique. So that's how it works together. Now I'm going to go through and show you exactly where each point is and what it's called so that you can easily follow along with the tapping scripts in the audio modules. So the first point is called the eyebrow point and it's right here at the beginning of the eyebrow. So use two or three fingers and you're going to tap five or six times on each spot and say your reminder phrase, this issue. The next point is called side of eye and it's just beyond the corner of your eye on the bony part of your skull, this issue. Then we have under eye, directly below the eyeball on your cheekbone, this issue. Next, we have under nose, so below your nose and above your upper lip, this issue. Next point is called the chin point, and it's below your lower lip and above the point of your chin, this issue. Our next point is called collarbone point, and it's just at the end of the collarbones or slightly below, this issue. Then we have under arm. Directly below the armpit, about four inches, right on the seam of your shirt. This issue. And the final spot is called the head point or top of head. And you can just tap in a little circle. This issue. All right, so let's put that all together and we're going to use a real example. And the example I'm going to use is something that often is a problem for people with IBS, and that's difficulty falling asleep. So follow along with me and just repeat after me what I say. So tapping on your karate chop point, our setup statement will go like this. Even though I have difficulty falling asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have difficulty falling asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have difficulty falling asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now we'll tap through the sequence. Eyebrow point. It's hard to fall asleep. Side of eye. It's hard to fall asleep. Under eye. It's hard to fall asleep. Under nose. It's hard for me to fall asleep. Chin point. It's hard for me to fall asleep. Collarbone. It's hard for me to fall asleep. Underarm. It's hard for me to fall asleep. And head point. It's hard for me to fall asleep. 
and take a breath. You'll notice in the audio scripts that we usually go through the issue, sequence of tapping for the issue, at least twice, and then we follow it up with a positive round. So let's just do the positive round. At the eyebrow point again, it's easy for me to fall asleep. Side of eye. I feel calm and relaxed. Under eye. It's easy for me to fall asleep. Under nose. I feel calm and relaxed. Chin point. It's easy for me to fall asleep. Collarbone. I feel calm and relaxed. Underarm. It's easy for me to fall asleep. And head point. I feel calm and relaxed. And take a breath. Now for some people, they don't have any trouble falling asleep, but they have trouble staying asleep all night. So let's tap on that. And that requires a slightly different setup statement. So tapping on the karate chop point, even though it's difficult for me to stay asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though it's difficult for me to stay asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though it's difficult for me to stay asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Eyebrow point. It's difficult to stay asleep. Side of eye. It's difficult to stay asleep. Under eye. It's difficult to stay asleep. Under nose. It's difficult for me to stay asleep. Chin. It's difficult to stay asleep. Collarbone. It's difficult for me to stay asleep. Under arm. It's difficult for me to stay asleep. And head point, it's difficult to stay asleep. And a positive round, eyebrow point, it's easy to stay asleep. Side of eye, I feel calm and relaxed. Under eye, it's easy to stay asleep. Under nose, I feel calm and relaxed. Chin, it's easy to stay asleep. Collarbone, I feel calm and relaxed. Underarm, it's easy for me to stay asleep. Top of head, I feel calm and relaxed. Take a breath and exhale slowly. If these sleeping problems are chronic issues for you, it would be very beneficial for you to tap on them every day. You can tap on them preventatively early in the day. You could tap while you're in the shower, or you could tap one round every time you go to the bathroom. And then, if the problem persists, tap again in the evening at bedtime. Now, I'd like to share with you some other times and ways that you can use EFT outside of the No IBS program. One of my favorite uses for EFT is when I'm on the telephone, especially when the conversation creates some intensity or some anxiety. Just use your free hand while you're on the phone and tap through the points on your head and your body. You don't need a setup statement and you don't need a reminder phrase because you're already tuned in to what the issue is. So keep tapping until the conversation is over or until the intensity is down and you feel more relaxed. Another way that you can use EFT is anytime you feel intensity. The intensity might be excitement, something positive that you're looking forward to, or the intensity could be negative. You could be watching a television program or listening to the news, or maybe someone in your household is having an argument and it's making you feel a little anxious. So use both, one or both hands, doesn't matter, and just tap through the points on your head, your collarbone, underarm, and the top of your head. Keep tapping until you feel the intensity has gone down. Now if you're in a situation where you're out in public or you don't think it's appropriate to be tapping on your head and your body, then just tap your fingertips together like this. 
There are lots of acupressure points on the end of each finger. So tapping them together like this will have a very calming effect for you also.